Lures. Number 11, Jackson Lures. Number 15, Hudson Lilly. Number 5, Braden Buchanan. That's good, that's good. Number 2, Connor Freeman. Number 1, Kate Cunningham. Number 23, M.D. Connor. Number three, Simon Baker. Number four, Landon Thompson. Number 13, Clayton Moore. And on the, the mound for the Vipers, number 45, Daniel Farrow. for your hometown McNeil Mavericks. Leading off, left fielder number 12, Ramsey Simpson. Second base, number one, Jack Gones. Shortstop, number nine, Ryan Vosick. First baseman, number 24, Jackson Collins. Your designated hitter, number 29, Caleb Krell. Center fielder, number 18, Chris Windisman. Your catcher, number two, Garrett Banks. Right fielder, number 14, Brandon Morio. Third baseman, number 16, Wyatt Newman. And on the mound for your Mavericks, number 15, James Morio. The Mavericks are led by head coach Silver Aguete and assistant coach Hyman Drone. All right, hello folks, thanks for joining us tonight for tonight's contest between the McNeil Mavericks and Vandegrift Vipers. Mavericks hosting the Vipers here in game one of this two game series this week with Vandegrift. Coming to you live from McNeil Field. Pretty nice night, about 72 degrees. Pretty strong winds out, about 16 mile an hour blowing out towards the uh, left field side, 330 down the line, 360 in the corner, or 360 in the alleys, and then uh, three, 365 in center. Vipers, three and two in district, 11 and seven overall this season. Lost their last two games against Vista Ridge last week. Mavs split the series with the Hutto Hippos last week. Won their game at home and then lost on the road at, Hipp at Hutto. Starting defense for the Mavs here. Jackson Collins at first base. Jack Goins at second. Ryan Vosick at short. Wyatt Newman at third. 
Ramsey Simpson in left field. Center fielder Chris Windesman, right field Brandon Morio. Behind the plate tonight, senior catcher Garrett Banks. And your starting pitcher, the left-handed junior James Morio. See, we have all of the lights operational here for game time start. Last week had a little trouble with the uh, the light stand out in right center field. Lights didn't come on until about the third inning, but uh, said we don't have that problem here today. A lot of wind leading up to a set of severe thunderstorms that are projected to come through about the middle of the night tonight, but we think we'll be able to get the game in without any problem other than the strong winds blowing out. So right-handed hitters can get a ball up in the jet stream out towards left field tonight uh, could be interesting. All right, we're ready to get started here. Top of the order for Vandegra Vipers, leadoff hitter left fielder Jackson Lures. And uh, apparently we have to have another conversation about signs before we get going here. Ladies and gentlemen, before we oh. begin tonight's contest, let us pause for a moment of silence for the Cunningham family and the Vandergriff community. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. Thank you. And yeah, actually a moment of silence there, folks, for one of the players on Vandergriff. Cade Cunningham, who's had some family members that were involved in a tragic car accident sometime last week there. So obviously our thoughts and prayers go out to him and his family. And now we are ready to get underway. And first pitch for Morio is a fastball on the inside corner for called strike one. Lefty-lefty matchup to begin the game here. Pitch breaking ball misses a little low and outside. One one pitch, look pretty good. Seems like it missed a little bit low and outside. So it'll be two balls, one strike to the leadoff hitter Lures. It'll be followed by the third baseman Hudson Lee and then the catcher Braden Buchanan. Next pitch swung on, line drive right at the second baseman Goins, and they're going to call that that he caught it in the air. So a line out to begin the inning. Brings up the third baseman, Hudson Lilly. First pitch to Lily Slider. Misses just a little bit high. Next pitch swung on, foul back out of play. Comes one one pitch, squares around to bunt, but pulls back on it. This is a change up that misses a little high and out. It'll be two and one the count to Lily. Next pitch fastball called strike on the outside corner. Comes a 2-2 pitch. Change up, swung on and missed, strike three. 
So two up, two down. For Morio and the Mavs here in the top of the first. Brings up the catcher, Bu uh, Braden Buchanan. Buchanan, the uh, starting catcher tonight for Vandegrift Vipers, also a Baylor Bear commit. And first pitch to Buchanan, breaking ball that just didn't quite snap down there, misses high and outside for a ball one. Next pitch swung on, lined into the gap in right center field. That's going to get down for extra bases. Caught by Brandon Mori out in right field. He's going to throw in. Throw's going to be cut off by the uh, second baseman, and Buchanan's in with a two-out double. Now we're going to have a courtesy runner for the catcher, Buchanan. Looks like number 10, Gavin Shaddix, comes in and will be the courtesy runner on second. And at the plate will be the right fielder, Connor Freeman. First pitch to Freeman, fastball in there for a called strike. Another pitch in there for a called strike. So Moria working ahead 0-2 with two outs, runner on second here in the top of the first. O2 pitch swung on ground ball gets in the gap between shortstop and third and it gets away from the left fielder Simpson and that's going to allow the runner to pinch runner or courtesy runner Shaddix to score from second and on the uh, miscue there by Simpson that allows Freeman to get to second base. So Vandegrift Vipers score first here. Now batting number one, Kate Cunningham. And with two outs, and now Freeman, the runner on second. That brings up the center fielder, Cade Cunningham. First pitch to Cunningham. Fastball misses a little low and out. Ball one. Next pitch swung on. Fly, fly ball. Pop kind of... Right field side, second baseman going is over right on the edge of the infield, and he makes the grab, and that will end the inning. So the Vipers strike first. Put up one run here in the top of the first inning on two hits. Heading to the bottom of the first, Mavericks coming up to bat. We'll be right back.
All right, leading off for the Mavericks. Left fielder Ramsey Simpson. And he will face the starting pitcher for the Vandiver Viper Vandegrift Vipers tonight, Daniel Farrow. First pitch swung on, fouled back out of play. Farrow, the senior pitcher for Vandegrift, and a uh, was committed to go play baseball at Houston Baptist. Continuing on his career. O one one fastball misses a little bit off the plate. So it'll be a 1-1 count to Simpson. Simpson will be followed by the second baseman, Jack Goins, and then the shortstop, Ryan Vosick. Next pitch misses a little bit low and inside. So 2-1 count now to the leadoff hitter, Simpson. Checks the swing. And there's an appeal down to the first base umpire who uh, took a little while to make up his mind there, but decided Simpson did not go down, or go around. So it is a 3-1 count now to the leadoff hitter, Simpson. And next pitch is in there for a called strike two. Comes a 3-2 pitch. Swung on, popped up. Kind of shallow center field. Shortstop's over to make the play, and you know, wind kind of carried a little bit there, but he managed to make the grab in the end. So Simpson pops out for the first out of the inning. That brings up second baseman Jack Goins. He looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for called strike one. Vandegrift third baseman playing up on the third base grass there. In case Goins decides to square around a bunt as the next pitch bounces in the dirt in front of the plate. So it'll be one on one count. One one fastball misses outside. One pitch, another breaking ball swung on a miss this time for strike two. So two and two the count to Goins. And another breaking ball swung on and miss, strike three. I think they're gonna sit. Might have been a drop third strike there, but catcher Buchanan throws down a first in time to catch Goins for the second out of the inning. It'll bring up number three hitter and shortstop, Ryan Vosick. Now batting for the Mavericks, shortstop number nine, Ryan Vosick. First pitch to Vosick misses a little bit low. Next pitch swung on and miss, strike one. One pitch is a breaking ball that it's in there, catches the inside corner for called strike two. One ball, two strikes. Count to Vasek. Next pitch fastball misses a little bit low and outside. It's a 2-2 pitch. Another breaking ball misses high this time. So we'll have a full count here with two outs, nobody on. And next pitch misses in the dirt. Ball four. So it's a two-out walk for Vasek. And that'll bring up the cleanup hitter, first baseman Jackson Collins. Now batting first. 
first baseman number 24, Jackson Collins. First pitch to Collins, misses in the dirt, gets away from the catcher Buchanan, so that will allow Vasek to advance easily on the pass ball. So he now stands in scoring position on second base. And next pitch to Collins is a breaking ball, misses a little bit inside. So it'll be 2-0 count. Another breaking ball. This one misses outside and low this time. So 3-0 count to Collins now. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, they had a... Uh, they had Vasek picked off there a second, but <laughs> pitcher Farrow decided not to throw. <laughs> then he threw too late. Almost threw the ball in the center field. Luckily, the second baseman caught it. Comes a 3-0 pitch. Another fastball misses in the dirt. Ball four. So back-to-back -back walks with two outs here. And uh, that's going to bring a visit out to the mound from the Vandegrift head coach. Vandergrift head coach heads back to the dugout. Thank you, and Farrow's going to come set here and face the next batter, designated hitter Caleb Crail for the Mavericks. And first pitch to Crail is a fastball right on the inside part of the plate there for called strike one. One pitch, another fastball misses in the dirt, so it'll be one ball, one strike. One one pitch, fastball catches the outside corner this time, so it'll be one ball, two strikes now, the count to Crail. Ryan Vosick, the runner out in second, Jackson Collins at first, two outs. And here comes the one two pitch. Swung on and missed, strike three. He's going to be dropped third strike. But since first base is already occupied, although it's two outs, and runners were moving, so it's like the umpire himself is a little bit confused as to what just happened here, but uh, let's see what they're going to decide. All right, looks like Crail's going to be safe on a drop third strike. And that will bring bases loaded now, two outs, and the center fielder Chris Windesman stands in. And he looks at called strike one, fastball on the outside part of the plate. Next pitch swung on, high fly ball. Got a couple steps right behind first base, but he lost the ball, and it's a fair ball. And runners were moving. Wow. No, 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 no. Don't go back. They're going to call it a foul ball. Coach, come talk to him. 
Oh, I think they need to go look at the replay of where that ball bounced. Okay, so the first baseman for Vandegrift clearly lost the ball in the lights. However, the umpires are saying that the ball landed foul. So, Windesman, everybody heads back. Windesman steps in now with an 0-2 count. And next pitch is a breaking ball, misses a little bit high. Here comes the 1-2 pitch. Breaking ball swung on and missed, strike three. So the Mavs load the bases, but leave them stranded. Can't bring anybody around. We head to the top of the second inning. The fan gripped off by a score of 1-0. We'll be right back. All right, back with the top of the second inning here. Six, seven, and eight hitters due up for the Vandegrift Vipers. Leading off will be the designated hitter, M.D. Connor. First pitch to Connor, fastball in there for a called strike. Pictures like a slider just misses a little bit low. Wind still blowing pretty good. Flags out in right center field. Blowing over towards the left field side. Winds are about 15 to 17 miles an hour right now as uh, Connor looks at called strike two. Next pitch, fastball. Morio wanted it. Umpire said, nope, ball. So two balls, two strikes to count. It's a leadoff hitter, Connor, this inning. And next pitch, fastball misses outside and high, so it'll go full count. Three two pitch swung on line drive right to the second baseman goings again. He fields it in the air for the first out of the inning. So one away brings up the shortstop Simon Baker. He squares around to bunt. And pulls back as the pitch misses a little bit inside and low. Let's 
Goes around to bunt again. Pulls back, but this time pitches over the plate for called strike. Comes 1-1 pitch, squares around to bunt again. This time he lays it down, fielded by the pitcher Morio, and he throws over to first in time. And Baker is retired on the bunt attempt. Baker just couldn't soften that bunt enough. Kind of had too much too much oomph on it. Morio just took a couple of steps over to his left, fielded it on the ground, and then threw it over. So two away here in the bottom of second. Brings up the first baseman, Landon Thomason. First pitch of Thomason, ground ball, fielded by shortstop Vosick. Throws over to first, but the throw's a little bit offline and it pulls the first baseman Collins off the bag. So Thomason will be in. At first base with two outs. And that brings up the number nine hitter, second baseman Clayton Moore. First pitch to Moore, fastball misses a little bit inside. And next pitch, fastball misses a little outside this time. So 2 0 count to Moore. Back to the top of the order for Vandegrift should uh, Moore manage to reach safely here. 2-0 pitch, swung on, ground ball in the gap at shortstop again, fielded by Vosick, but he's not going to have a chance to throw over to first, so that'll be an infield single. So we've got runners on first and second now with two outs, and that will bring, up, bring us back to the top of the Vipers order, back up to the leadoff hitter and left fielder Jackson Lures. Lowers the left-hander lined out to second base in his first at bat. And he looks at a first pitch slider that's in there for called strike. Next pitch swung on, line drive into center field. Center fielder Wind has been going back and makes the grab on the run, and that will end the inning. So no runs on one hit that inning. Score still 1-0 here as we head to the bottom of the second inning. And McNeil Mavericks coming up to bat. We'll be right back. Our right, leading off for the Mavs here, bottom of second, catcher Garrett Banks. 7-8-9 due up here for the Mavs in this inning. Ooh. And Banks takes a first pitch fastball that got him right in the helmet. Come on, man. 
And he is down, understandably. Well, looks like he's good, as he did a couple of push-ups before uh, coming to his feet there. And he's, uh, he's going to head down to first base. Catchers are a different breed, folks. Yeah, that, was a, that was a high fastball that nailed him right in the side of the helmet there. Trainer coming out, probably going to run a little concussion protocol on him there. Well, with Banks being the catcher, we'll already be planning to do a uh, courtesy runner. So number 22, Ryan Shook, is going to come in and be the courtesy runner for Banks, and he's going to head over and get some attention from the uh, trainer staff here to see and make sure he's okay to go. All right, so leadoff hit by pitch here in the bottom of the second. Brings up the number eight hitter in right fielder, Brandon Morio. How about it? Number 14, Brandon Morio. And Morio swings the first pitch fastball and misses strike one. Viper's third baseman playing up on the grass. Another fastball swung on, missed, strike two. Comes the 0-2 pitch. Fastball misses high and inside for ball one. One two breaking ball swung on and just kind of a little Texas leaguer gets over the sh shortstop's head there. And it'll be a single. First hit for the Mavs here tonight. And that will put now runners on first and second. Nobody out. And third baseman Wyatt Newman comes up for his first at bat tonight. Now batting third baseman number 16, Wyatt Newman. Squares around to Bunt, pulls back. Oh, they're going to snap throw down to second base. Close play, but Shook is back in time. And it looks like umpire's going to say that Newman did offer at the pitch with the Bunt there, so it's called strike one. And he squares around to Bunt again, and... Looks like he's calling saying foul. Looks like foul tipped it into the catcher's mitt. So another missed bunt attempt. 0-2 now the count to Newman. Actually, it looks like the umpire signaling it's one ball and one strike. Pitcher Farrow motions to second base, but no throw over to try to catch Shook. Comes the 1 1 pitch. Swung on, line drive that's going to get into the. Oh, it's just good, good play by the right fielder to come over on the run to his right and makes the grab in the air. And not deep enough for any of the runners to advance. So Newman lines out to right center. Looks like they had a shot to get in the gap there. Could have been a couple runs, but good play by the Vandegrift right fielder. That brings us back to the top of the order. Leadoff hitter Ramsey Simpson stands in. 
popped out to shortstop in his first at bat. He swings the first pitch. He sees hard line drive, gets over the glove of the second baseman and into right center field. Shook's going to try to come around all the way from second and score. Here comes a throw. It's going to be offline, and he's going to be safe. So some good hard base running by Shook. And that ties up the game at one apiece. He'll probably score that hard line driver, even though the second baseman got some glove on it. He had a jump, and it went off the top of it there, so probably a single for Simpson. He stands at first base, and Brandon Morio, who had the other single this inning, is now at second. And with one away, that brings up second baseman Jack Goins. Struck out in his first at bat. And he looks at a first pitch slider that's in there on the inside corner for called strike one. Next pitch swung on. Looks like got just a piece of it there and chopped it foul behind the uh, behind the catcher and rolls back to the net. 0-2 count now to Goins. And next pitch slider misses outside and low. Comes a one two pitch. Called strike three. Fourth strikeout of the night so far for Farrow. And with two away, now that brings up shortstop, shortstop Ryan Vosick. Vosick reached on a walk back in his uh, only appearance tonight so far in the first. First pitch fastball misses outside. Next pitch a breaking ball that didn't quite snap down, stayed up high. Two balls, no strikes to Vasek. Brandon Morio still your runner on second. Ramsey Simpson on first, both reached on singles. 2-0 pitch, fastball misses outside and low. Three balls, no strikes, count to Vasek. Jackson Collins, DH, or first baseman, stands on deck. Three zero pitch, misses outside, ball four. So for the second time in two innings, the Mavs have the bases loaded. And that'll bring up Jackson Collins, who reached on a walk back in the first inning as well. First pitch to Collins, misses a little bit low. Ball one. Next pitch swung on a miss, strike one. One one pitch to Collins. Fastball misses outside. Good attempt to frame there by the catcher Buchanan, but uh, a little too much effort there as that ball was pretty far outside. So it'll be two balls, one strike to Collins. And the next pitch hits him. So an RBI hit by pitch puts the Mavs up by a score of two to one. And everybody moves up one base. Base is still loaded here with two outs. And that brings up the designated hitter, Caleb Crail, who reached on a drop third strike back in the first inning.
First pitch to Crail, comebacker right to the pitcher, Farrow. He throws over to first, and that will end the inning. So the Mavs leave the bases loaded again, but they do manage to go on top, bring two runs around this inning, making the score two to one. As we head to the top of the third inning, we'll be right back. All right, we have a couple of defensive substitutions here for the Mavs. Third baseman Wyatt Newman has come in to catch as uh, starting catcher Garrett Banks has left the game after that hit by pitch in the in the helmet last inning. At third base now, Alex Brasenio comes in in place of Wyatt Newman, who is now the catcher. And so leadoff hitter Hudson Lilly lays down a bunt and... Fielded by Morio, but the throw is offline and is going to go all the way to the right field wall. Lily on his way, rounding second into third. And it's going to be one of those bunts where the runner ends up on third base to start off the third inning. And that'll bring up the number three hitter, Braden Buchanan. Had a double and scored a run back in the first inning. And he looks at a first pitch fastball that's in there for called strike one. Next pitch fastball misses high and outside. Next pitch, breaking ball, bounces, bounces in the dirt. Buchanan checked the swing. So it'll be two and one to count. Two one fastball comes in, swung on and missed, strike two. It was a 2-2 pitch to Buchanan. Swung on, hard ground ball, fielded by the second baseman Goings. Plenty of time, throws over to first. And Buchanan is retired for the first out. Hard hit ball. Not enough time for the runner Lilly to advance from third, so he stays there. Does not come across. So one away brings up the number four hitter, Connor Freeman. Singled in his first at bat. 
He looks at a first pitch fastball and misses outside low. Pitch checks his swing, lays off a high fastball, so it'll be 2-0. and Mavs infield playing again, trying to cut off that run and keep the lead. Here with one out in the, uh, and a runner on third in the top of the third. Next pitch, fastball bounces the dirt, so it'll be 3-0 and on Freeman. Pitch is a fastball. Get me over fastball in there for called strike. It was a 3 1 pitch. Fastball misses somewhere for ball four. So Freeman is on with a walk, makes it for runners on first and third with one out. And center fielder Cade Cunningham comes to the plate. Cunningham popped out to second base in his first at bat, and that ended the first inning. And first pitch to Cunningham misses inside and low for ball one. Pitch change up in there for called strike one. One ball, one strike to count to Cunningham. Looks at a fastball, misses high and out. It'll be two and one now. Hudson Lilly started off the inning with a bunt, stands on third base. And then the previous batter, Freeman, the runner at first. And 2 1 pitch. Swung on, a little chop ground ball, second base side, slow roller, fielded by Goins, throws over to first in time. But that's going to be slow roller enough to allow the runner, Lily, to advance from third base, and that ties the score up here at two apiece in the top of the third. So Cunningham is out on the ground ball, but an RBI for him. Runner on first, Freeman advances to second. So runner on second now, two outs. Brings up the designated hitter, M.D. Connor, who lined out to second base in his first at bat. And Connor looks at a first pitch fastball, misses a little high and out. Pretty even matchup so far here. Two runs apiece, three hits for the Vipers, two hits for the Mavs. As Connor looks at ball two. Next pitch change up in there on the inside corner to the lefty Connor for called strike one. Two and one the count now. Next pitch fastball goes outside this time called strike two. Two pitch, fastball misses just a little bit outside or something. And that will bring us to a 3 2 count now with two outs. And Freeman, the runner on second. And next pitch is swung on and fouled out of play over to the left side. Got some activity up in the Mavericks bullpen. Three two pitch swung on fly ball into the deep gap, deep gap in right center field. And that ball's gonna be off the fence. 
Freeman scores from second, and it is a two-out RBI double for Connor. And with that double, that uh, puts the Vipers up, up back on top now by a score of three to two. We've got a right-hander up in the bullpen for the Mavericks. Pitcher James Moria working on pitch number 54 of the outing here. And that brings up shortstop Simon Baker. He swings the first pitch, pops it foul, back behind the press box here. Next pitch, fastball, misses inside, gets away from the catcher, Newman, so Connor will advance easily to third on the pass ball. And it is a 1-1 count to the hitter, Baker. Baker swings the next pitch and fouls it out of play. Baker grounded out on a bunt back to the pitcher back in the uh, in his only at bat in the second inning. And here comes the one-two pitch. Next pitch swung on, hard ground ball, fielded by the third baseman, Briseño. Throws it in the dirt, fielded by the first baseman, Collins on flat on his stomach and they're going to say he was safe. I'm not sure if he was pulled off or what happened there, but unfortunately it is safe all around. That allows Connor to score from third. That makes the score 4-2 to two, Vipers. And first baseman Landon Thomason comes up now with two outs and a runner on first. He looks at called strike one in the outside corner. Next pitch fastball misses far outside. Pitch misses a little bit low, so it'll be two balls, one strike. Still two outs. Baker, the runner on first. Another fastball misses high and outside again, so it'll be three and one to Thomason. Right as Moria was getting to pitch there, a big old gust of wind picked up. So he steps off, resets, and here comes the 3-1 pitch. And pitch misses low, ball four. So two-out walk for Thomason. So now runners on first and second. And number nine hitter Clayton Moore comes up. Had a single in his first at bat. Takes a big hack of the first pitch and just catches a piece of it foul. Looks like it went off of the, uh, fouled off of the catcher Wyatt Newman's body somewhere. He's all right though. Next pitch, good breaking ball. Came back in backdoor style there. Catches the outside corner for called strike two.
0-2 pitch. Almost bidding on it there. Fastball missed outside and high. Ball one. One two pitch swung on a miss strike three. So that ends the inning on the strikeout there. Second strikeout of the night for Morio. But Vandegrift tacks on three runs and retakes the lead here by a score of four to two as we head to the bottom of the third. Six seven eight due up for the Mavericks here when we come back. Our leading off for the Mavs here. Bottom of third inning, Chris Windesman stands in. Swing, towering drive out towards center field. Center fielder going back, going back, and makes the catch about two steps right before the fence in the air. Boy, that was a big, long drive. Long fly ball, but unfortunately a fly out for the leadoff hitter, Windesman, to start the inning. Got it up in the jet stream there, but... Just missed by a little bit. So one away brings up the third baseman, Alex Brasino, hitting in the place for Garrett Banks. Brasino looks at a first pitch breaking ball in there for called strike one. And next pitch swung on, fly ball. And a second baseman coming in, and he makes the grab. So Brasenio pops out for the second out. And with two away here in the bottom of the third, that brings up the right fielder, Brandon Morio. Morio reached on a single and scored a run back in the second inning. And Morio swings the first pitch fastball and misses for strike one. Another fastball in there for called strike two. O2 fastball. Bounces near the feet of the hitter Morio there. So it'll be one ball, two strikes. Another fastball misses outside. And Morio's working his way back here to 2-2. Two -two. Next pitch, breaking ball. Swung on it, got just a piece of it, and fouled it softly towards the right side. So count will remain two and two. Next pitch fastball misses inside, so we're up to a full count. Three-two fastball misses low, ball four. 
Good at bat for Morio there with two outs. He's aboard. And the current catcher, Wyatt Newman, will take off his uh, shin guards and head to the plate. A couple scores from around the district. We have one final, Ron Rock over Hutto by a score of 13 to two. Run rolling in that contest there. Westwood currently leading Stony Point by a score of nine to four. And they are in the top of the fifth inning there at Westwood. All right, we're gonna have some sort of conversation with uh, Coach Aguirre comes to talk to the home plate umpire. Got some kind of substitution. Looks like Brandon Morio, who just reached on a walk, has is no longer the runner at first. Uh, he actually heads over to the bullpen, and he's going to warm up. <laughs> and we are going to need some sort of runner at first at his play in his place and that's where coach Aguirre is probably trying to square up with the umpire here to make sure everything is uh legit okay he seems to have it sorted can't quite tell who our pinch runner is okay number 21 Luke Hankey has come in and is the pinch runner at first in place of uh, Brandon Morio. And Farrow throws over on the first pitch to check the runner there. Hankey's back in time. Wyatt Newman, currently the hitter. And he stands in with a fresh count, runner on first and two outs here in the bottom of the third inning. First pitch is a slider to misses a little low and inside. Ball one. Next pitch, fastball. Umpire says it caught the outside corner. Looked a little bit a little low now, but nonetheless, count is one and one to Newman. Next pitch fastball misses in the dirt this time, so it'll be two and one. And Farrell throws over to first there. Not much of a lead for the runner Hanky at first, but uh, trying to keep him honest. He's back in time. Oh, the fastball catches the outside part of the plate for called strike two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Next pitch swung on in the gap into right center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. It's going to roll, roll, roll. And we've got Hanky held up at second base. Could have easily gotten to third. And so... Runners will be held up. Newman will be held up at first. On a well hit ball there. That could have easily been a second, could have easily been a double. But we're so two out single for Newman. Runners on first and second. And we're back to the top of the Mavericks order. Ramsey Simpson stands in. Simpson one for two with a single back in the second inning. And the first pitch gets away from the catcher Buchanan, and everyone's going to move up one base. So in a roundabout way, the runners advanced. And now we have runners on second and third with two outs, and a 1-0 count to Simpson. That, that first pitch to Simpson there nearly hit him on the shoes.
Next pitch swung on, fouled. Back to the screen. It was 1-1 pitch to Simpson. Fastball in there on the outside part of the plate. Called strike two. One-two breaking ball. Frozen in there for called strike three. So the Mavs leave runners on second and third. On one hit. And we head to the top of the fourth inning. Vipers still in control by a score of 4-2. to two. We'll be right back. All right, we've got a new pitcher for the Mavericks here to lead off the top of the fourth inning. Number 20, Dominic Escamilla, and now the pitcher comes in relief for James Morio, and he will face the top of the order, starting with the leadoff hitter, Jackson Lures. And first pitch to Lures, bounces and gets away from the catcher, Newman. It's going to be ball one. And next pitch misses a little high. Ball two. He said I can feel a hole in my in my uh his teeth seem fine. But his his gum, like I 
2 0 pitch misses inside. So 3 0, the count to the leadoff hitter Lures. Lures 0 for 2 today, lined out and flew out in his two appearances. And next pitch misses ball four. So a leadoff walk for Lures to start the top of the fourth inning. And that'll bring up third baseman Hudson Lilly. Lilly with a strikeout, safe on an error, and scored a run back in the third inning. And Escamilla throws over to first, check the runner, Lures, who's back at safely. First pitch to Lilly, misses low in the dirt for ball one. Here's pitch breaking ball in there for call strike one. That should be swung on deep drive to left field. Simpson going back, and he makes the grab over his shoulder on the run. What a nice catch by Simpson. So a long fly ball out for Lilly, first out of the inning. And run around first, Lures does not advance on that long, line, long fly out there. That brings up the catcher, Braden Buchanan. Buchanan uh, one for two with a double run scored and then grounded out to second base. He looks at ball one. Next pitch, Buchanan misses outside again for ball two. Escamilla throws over to first. One more time to check the runner lures over there. He's back safely. Next pitch swung on, popped up. First baseman Collins coming over towards second base, and he makes the grab. This will be two away. And Connor Freeman, number four hitter, comes up. Freeman's reached both times today, a single in the first inning, and then walked in the third. First pitch to Freeman, misses a little low and outside for ball one. Two outs, leadoff hitter Lores still stands on first base. Quite sure what happened there. I'm not sure if it was a balk called or uh, or what happened there, but uh, count showing two and zero, oh, and the runner Lores just kind of walked his way to second base. And next pitch is swung on, lofted fly ball into left field. Simpson takes a couple of steps back and makes the grab, and that ends the inning. No damage done, no runs, no hits. Score still 4-2 to two as we head to the bottom of the fourth with the Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back.
All right. 2-3-4, due up for the Mavericks here. Bottom of the fourth inning. Leadoff header Jack Goins swings at a first pitch fastball and misses strike one. It'll be Goins, Vasek, and Collins due up this inning. A one pitch from Farrow. Flies a little high and tight there, misses ball one. Farrow working on pitch number 72 of his outing tonight. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses high. Two one fastball, misses high and outside, so it'll be three and one. Next pitch is in there for called strike two. Full count to Goins. And next pitch is swung on and fouled sharply out of play. Another 3 2 pitch to Goins. Swung on and missed strike three. Sixth strikeout for starting pitcher Farrow this evening. And with one away here in the bottom of the fourth, that brings up Ryan Vosick, who looks at a called strike one. Next pitch, fastball misses pretty far outside, so it'll be a 1-1 one -one count. Another fastball misses high and outside this time. This will be two and one. It's going to update here. Westwood leading comfortably over Stony Point now in the bottom of the fifth by a score of 13 to four. As Vosick swings and misses at a 2-1 breaking ball. Two-two pitch, another breaking ball swung on and missed, strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here for Farrow in the bottom of the fourth. Brings up Jackson Collins. Collins with a walk and hit by pitch in his two at-bats today. Now batting first baseman, number 24, Jackson Collins. Looks at a first pitch that misses a little bit inside. Another fastball comes inside high and tight there, so it'll be 2-0. Oh. And next pitch nearly hits him. So three straight balls all uh, in the inside quadrant. That's a 3-0 -oh count. Here comes the 3-0 -oh pitch. And that one misses inside as well, so it is... A walk on four straight pitches with two outs for Collins. That'll bring up the designated hitter, Caleb Crail. Crail with a uh, safe on a drop third strike and then uh, grounded out to the pitcher in his two appearances tonight. First pitch to Carrell is a called strike and a good snap throw by the catcher Buchanan down to first base, but not in time to catch Collins leading off of first base. So he is back safely. And next pitch to Carrell is a breaking ball that's in there for called strike two. Next pitch swung on and missed, strike three. Ball gets away from the catcher Buchanan, but he throws down the first in time. So three strikeouts 
and one walk this inning. No runs, no hits for the Mavs in the bottom of the fourth. Heading to the top of the fifth, Vandergriff coming up to bat, still in the lead by a score of 4-2. to two. We'll be right back. Number 14, Brandon Morio. Morio, double stuff. <laughs> it's like James would. All right, another pitching change here for the Mavs. Coming in to face the five, six, seven hitters for Vandegrift this inning will be the junior left-hander Brandon Morio, twin brother of the starting pitcher James Morio. Morio comes in from right field, and in his place, his brother James Morio goes into right field. So new pitcher Brandon Moria will face Cade Cunningham to start the fifth inning. And he swings the first pitch. High fly ball kind of in between first and no man's land there. And uh, second baseman Goins goes out, tries to grab it, but can't make the grab. And so Cunningham is aboard at first base to start the fifth. Now batting number 23, M.D. Connor. And that will bring up the designated hitter, M.D. Connor. Connor with a double run scored and a line out in his appearances tonight. And Morio throws over to check the runner. Cunningham is back safely. And he squares around a bunt, but does not fully go around. So it'll be a, a ball. Scored that last play a hit there by Cunningham. And Connor squares around the bunt. This time does go around. So it'll be one ball, one strike. Squares around a bunt again, pops it, but it's probably not going to be playable by the catcher, Newman. So it'll be 1-2 count. And a 
Morio throws over to check. Run around first, Cunningham again. He's back safely. One two pitch. Fastball misses a little outside and low. Ball two. Next pitch comes inside, swung on, pop fly, third base. And that ball is going to get down again. And they throw over to second base to try to get the first, to get the force, and that ball gets away from the second baseman and rolls into shallow right field. And it's another one of those innings for the Mavs here. Scorekeeper calls that another hit. So two balls that narrowly left the infield. And now we've got runners on second and third. Nobody out. And brings up the shortstop, Simon Baker. As soon as the first pitch, ground ball is short. Fielded by Vosick. Throws home. And it is in time. Newman puts the tag down. And runner from third is called out, advancing. Vandegrift, third base coach, does not agree with that call. He's going to come ask for a conversation. Don't suspect he's going to win that one. So good play by Vosick there with the throw home to cut off the run. And the play the call does stand. So Baker safe at first on the fielder's choice. Cunningham is out trying to advance from third for the first out of the inning. Connor moves up to third. So we've got runners on first and third. One out brings up number eight hitter Landon Thomason. Thomason reached on an air and a walk. And he swings at the first pitch. Ground ball to second base. Fielded by second baseman Goins. A force out at second. Vosick throws over to first, throw is offline, and gets away from first baseman Collins. And so Connor comes around and scores easily from third on the play. Baker, the runner on first, is forced out at second. And Thomason remains at first base on the throwing error. And that brings up the number nine hitter, Clayton Moore. Single a strikeout in his two appearances. And he squared around to bunt and miss, and uh, actually pitch was called a ball. So it's one ball, no strikes to Moore. And he takes a big swing and a miss at the next pitch, strike one. One one fastball misses outside as catcher Newman snap throws down. Two and one the count to the hitter Moore. Next pitch swung on, lined softly foul over on the first base side. So it'll be two balls, two strikes to Moore. Thomason, the runner on first. Runner goes. Pitch is swung on and fouled out of play. Thomason will head back to first. Comes a 2-2 pitch. Swung on, little soft fly ball into shallow center field, and that's going to find some open grass for a single. Runner's trying to advance to third, and he will be out by a country mile.
So Thomason will be out trying to advance to third on the single by Moore. That will be the third out of the inning. One run does come across. So Vandegrift now up by a score of 5-2 to two as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back. All right, Chris Windesman will lead off for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch from Farrow to Windesman misses high and outside for ball one. Farrow working on pitch number 90 coming up here. Next pitch misses high and inside this time. 2-0 count to Windesman. Witt has been looking for his first hit tonight. Has a strikeout and a long fly ball to uh, center field that was caught about two steps before going out of, the, out of the ballpark. And he stands in now with a 3-0 count. And 3-0 pitch in there for called strike on the inside corner. Oh, 3-1 pitch. Windsman thought it was ball four. Umpire called strike. So Windsman will come back with a full count now to lead off the inning. Next pitch swung on and missed. Strike three. So one away, bring up Alex Briseño, third baseman. Popped out to second base in his first at bat. Now batting third baseman, Alex Briseño. Nine strikeouts on the night so far for Farrow. And Briseño looks at called strike one. Takes a big cut at the next pitch. Inside fastball and misses strike two. And next pitch swung on strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the bottom of the fifth here. And that'll bring up the current pitcher for the Mavericks, Brandon Morio. Morio reached on both appearances today. A single in the second and a uh, walk in the third. And Morio looks at a first pitch fastball on the outside corner called strike one. The 
Next pitch misses inside for a ball. Next pitch swung on and missed, strike two. And uh, with that pitch, Farrow has crossed the 100 pitch mark for this game. 0-2 pitch misses outside for a ball. Oh, next pitch called strike three on the outside corner. So Farrow strikes out the side here in the bottom of the fifth. Heading to the top of the sixth. Vandegrift still in the lead by a score of 5-2. to two. We'll be back in a second. Now batting number 11, Jackson Lures. All right, back to the top of the order here for Vandegrift in the top of the sixth inning, leading off number one here, Jackson Lures. Lures with a, a line out, fly out, and a walk in his appearances today as he looks at a breaking ball in there for called strike one. Next pitch, ground ball right up the middle, fielded deep. Actually, nope, second baseman Goins made a good attempt over there to grab it as it was kind of deep and already into the uh, center field grass, but unable to come up with it and make a play. So it'll be a leadoff single for Lures. Yeah, that'll bring up the third baseman, Hudson Lilly. Lilly 0 for 3 tonight with a strikeout, reached on an error, and then uh, flew out to left field. Squares around the bunt, lays it down, but it goes foul down the first baseline. Lily squares around a bunt again. Pulls back in time, though. Pitch misses a little bit high and outside. Snap throw down from the catcher Newman to first, but Lures is back safely. One 
One one count to Lilly. See if he squares around a bunt again. Third baseman Brisenio far up on the grass at third. As Morio throws over to check the runner. I guess there was a hit and run on, but he's back safely. Runner does go this time. Squares around to bunt. Pulls back. Throw down to second. It's not going to be in time. So stolen base for Lors. And he's now in scoring position with nobody out. Here in the top of the sixth. And here comes a 2-1 pitch to Lilly. Swung on and missed. Ball gets away from the catcher, Newman, but... Uh, Runner Lores does not advance from second. So two balls, two strikes to Lilly. Two two pitch swung on, line drive. They're going to get over the second baseman's head and it's going to roll in the gap in right center field. Lures is going to score from second, and Lily trades places with him with a RBI double. So that'll make the score 6-2, Vipers. And the number three hitter, Buchanan, now the hitter, Buchanan, one for three tonight with a double. That's first pitch, fastball misses outside for a ball. No batting, number five, Brady Buchanan. Next pitch, breaking ball misses a little bit outside, ball two. Pitch change up misses a little bit low, I guess. So 3 0 count now to Buchanan. Three oh pitch swung on, fouled out of play over towards the Mavericks bullpen. Do have a right hander up in the Mavs bullpen. Three one pitch. Breaking ball misses a little bit high, I guess, for ball four. Now batting number two, Connor Freeman. We're gonna have a courtesy runner for the catcher Buchanan. Number ten, Gavin Shaddix comes back in for another courtesy runner appearance tonight. Brings up Connor Freeman. Squares around to bunt. Takes the first pitch breaking ball. Misses a little bit high and outside. So we got runners on first and second. Nobody out. And next pitch is a fastball in there on the outside part of the plate for called strike one. Breaking ball misses a little bit low. Count will be two balls, one strike. Squares around a bunt, pops it up. Newman, the catcher, tries to get over it in time, but uh, not going to make it. It was pop bunted foul. So it will just be a 2-2 count to Freeman. Mm -hmm. 
Comes a 2-2 pitch. Swung on a miss, strike three. First strike out of the night for Brandon Morio. First out of the inning here in the top of the, or in the top of the sixth. And that brings up center fielder Cade Cunningham. Cunningham one for three tonight with a single. He squares around to bunt, push bunt, tries to push it down the first base line, but bunts it foul. A one pitch, swung on ground ball, second base. Gets through the glove of the second baseman going, though, and it's going to get into right field. And the two runs are going to, or runs going to score. And on the throw, Cunningham advances to second base. That will make the score now 7-2. to two. As Lilly comes around to score. Cunningham moves to third. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not Cunningham. That is uh, Shaddix moves to third, the courtesy runner for the catcher Buchanan. And that brings up the designated hitter, Empty Connor. First pitch to Connor swung on, gets through the hole between uh, first and second base for a single. Throw to home, not in time to catch Shaddix. So it will be an RBI single for Connor. Now betting, number three, Simon Baker. So that will now, with the runs that scored on that play, the score is now 9-2, to two, Vandegriff. We have a courtesy runner coming in. Actually, that's going to be a pinch runner for, for Connor. Looks like number six, Tyler Hubbard, comes in. He's the runner at first now. Simon Baker, now your hitter, with one out. Baker 0 for 3 with a fielder's choice, safe on an error, and then uh, was out on a bunt. Squares around a bunt again, but bunts it foul. So the Viper is resorting to uh, a, st a string of small ball here in the top of the sixth. Tacking on a bunch of runs on a, a bunch of hits that are either not leaving the infield or just barely leaving the infield. Squares around a bunt again. Pitch misses outside and low. Another pitch misses low this time. Two balls and one strike to count now. Two one fastball misses inside. Comes the 3-1 pitch. Fastball swung on, fouled out of play behind press box. So it'll be a full count now to the hitter Baker. And 3-2 pitch misses just a little bit outside for ball four. 
So that walk will make it runners on first and second now. Still have one out. And the number eight hitter, Landon Thomason, comes to the plate. Thomason has reached in all three appearances, but not a hit among them. Safe on two errors and a walk. First pitch to him is swung on and fouled back out of play. Next pitch, good breaking ball. Squared around to bunt and did offer at it, so it'll be 0-2. was a virtually impossible hit to, or pitch to try to bunt. Thompson choked way up high on the bat as the 0-2 pitch comes in. Fastball misses low. Runner's going to go, but the throw is going to get over the head of the third baseman and into left field, so that will allow a run to score. So Connor scores from second on the stolen base and then the errant throw, making the score 10 to 2. Baker, the runner on first, moves to second. And we have another final score from around the district. Ron Rock, uh, Westwood has won the game over Stony Point by a score of 13 to 5. One two pitch. Fastball swung on ground ball. Going to get in between first and second base again into right field for a single. Throw from right field is on line, but catcher Newman unable to come up with it. So it will be another RBI single. And on the throw in from right field, Thomason advances from first to second. And that's going to bring out head coach Aguirre to the mound. Talk to his pitcher, Morio. We'll see if he sticks with him or if he's going to go to the right-hander. Looks like Caleb Crail was warming up in the bullpen. Score is now 11-2 in favor of Vandegrift. And, okay, so Morio is going to come out of the game as the pitcher. He's going to go, looks like he's heading out to right field, though. So he's going to stay in the game, and number 29, Caleb Crail, is going to come in in relief. Now pitching for the Mavericks, number 29. So Caleb pitching change for the Mavericks. We'll let Crail get his uh, warm-ups, and we'll be right back in a minute.
All right, so relief pitcher Caleb Crail is ready to go. He comes on in relief from uh, Brandon Morio, who has gone out to right field, replaces his brother James Morio, who was out there previously. And Crail gets ready to face the first hitter, number, Clayton Moore. Batting, number 13, Clayton Moore. And Moore looks at ball one that misses pretty far outside. Next pitch swung on, fouled softly over towards the Mavericks dugout. Next pitch swung on, fouled out of play, right side. Next pitch fastball misses a little bit outside, so it'll be two balls, two strikes. Thomas and the runner on second with one out and 2-2 two -two pitch. Misses outside. This count will go full now to the hitter Moore. It'll be back to the top of the Vipers order after Moore. That will be a bat around for them this inning. And next pitch to Moore misses high for ball four. Looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter here. Number six, Tyler Hubbard, comes in to hit in the leadoff spot in place of Jackson Lors. First pitch to Hubbard misses outside for ball one. Next pitch, fastball inside, swung on a miss, strike one. Next pitch misses for a ball, so it's two balls, one strike, the count to Hubbard. Rose on first and second, one out. I was looking for a ground ball here to get out of this inning. As the next pitch misses outside, count will go to three and one. And next pitcher misses outside, gets away from the catcher, Newman. But runners will remain at the one base advance on the walk. So back-to-back -back walks will load the bases. Batting, number 15, Hudson Lilly. And that will bring up number two hitter, Hudson Lilly. who doubled in his appearance earlier this inning. And first pitch to Lilly misses outside and low for ball one. Another fastball misses a little up and outside. There'll be two balls, no strikes to Lilly.
The pitch misses outside low. Three balls, no strikes. The count to Lily. Catcher Buchanan on deck. Comes a 3-0 pitch. Misses outside, ball four. And with that walk, that will force in a run, making the score 12-2. to two. And base is still loaded, one out. Brings up number three hitter, Braden Buchanan. And he looks at a call for first strike. Next pitch swung on, hitting the gap in the right center field. That's going to get down for a single. Runner's going to score from third. Runner's going to score from second as well. So it's a two RBI single with bases loaded for Buchanan. That'll make the score 14 to two, Vandegrift. And on that hit, runner on first, Lily advances to third. So we got runners on first and third. One out, brings up Connor Freeman. First pitch to Freeman, misses inside. Next pitch over the plate for a called strike. Next pitch swung on, line drive. That's going to get down for a single in the center field. Lilly will score real easily from third. And the pinch runner for Buchanan holds up at second base. And another run will come across, making the score 15-2, Vandegrift. Now batting number one, Cade Cunningham. And that will bring up Cade Cunningham to the plate. He swings at the first pitch and fouls it off. And the 0-1 pitch comes a little too inside and hits Cunningham in the back. So he will head down the first. That will load the bases. And still with one out, brings up M.D. Connor, designated hitter, singled, has a couple of singles and a double tonight. First pitch to Connor, ground ball to second base, gets underneath the legs of the second baseman Goins and into center field. And so one run's going to score. Everybody moves up one. And on the throw in, Connor moves to second base. Yep. Actually, two runs scored on that play, so that'll make the score 17 to 2. And 
Now we'll bring up Simon Baker. Looks at called strike one. So we got runners on second and third now, still one out. And a one pitch misses outside, ball one. One one pitch, fastball misses a little outside. Be two and one. Looks like we do have some activity in the Mavericks bullpen. Next pitch, ground ball. Going to get into the in, in this left field for a single. Another run will score. So the Vipers continue to pile it on here in the long sixth inning. Still one out. Got runners on first and third now. The right hitter Landon Thomason stands in. And dodges out of the way of a first pitch fastball. Misses a little high and tight. Next pitch misses a little outside and low, ball two. Next pitch swung on, that's a little line drive that's going to get down into left field for another single. Connor's going to score easily from third. Baker moves up to second. We'll bring up number nine hitter Clayton Moore. First pitch to Moore misses high for ball one. Checks his swing, little ground ball, but it's going to be fouled down the first baseline. Pitch misses a little outside, ball two. Two and one, the count to Moore. Got runners on first and second, still one out. Next pitch swung on, ground ball to second base. Kicks up and gets away from the glove of the second baseman, Goins, and into right field. Another run's going to score from second. And with that, Vandegrift has now batted around twice this inning. And we are back to where we started with the leadoff hitter, number six, Hubbard. Now batting number six, Tyler Hubbard. Hubbard walked to uh, lead off the inning, actually singled, then walked. And he swings the first pitch, pops it up sky high. Newman trying to come back out of play, but he's going to run out of room. Oh, one pitch swung on, fouled out of play. Oh, two pitch. This is outside a little bit. Ball one.
Hexbridge swung on a miss, strike three. So that makes it two outs now. And Hudson Lilly comes up. Lilly with a double and a walk, both in this inning. And he looks at the first pitch, misses high and outside. Next pitch catches the outside corner for called strike. Well, pitch misses outside. Count is now two and one. Next pitch swung on, fly ball, lofted into shallow center field. Windesman comes in and makes the grab with a diving catch. And that will end the inning. So Vandegrift bats around twice, goes up by a score of 20 to 2. Mavs coming up. Bottom of the sixth here, going to need to tack on some runs to try to avoid the run roll. We'll be, we'll be right back. All right, we have a relief pitcher come on here to face the Mavs in the bottom of the sixth. Number 21, Dylan Mulcahy, will, be, will replace Daniel Farrow, starting pitcher for the Vipers. Number nine hitter Newman will lead off this inning, then back to the top of the order. Mavs need to score nine runs here this inning in order to uh, reach the seventh inning. As Newman looks at called strike one. Next pitch misses a little outside low for a ball. Breaking ball, catches the outside corner there, a little late break. One ball, two strikes, the count to Newman. Next pitch, breaking ball, bounces in the dirt, be two and two.
2 2 pitch in there, called strike three. That'll bring us back to the top of the Mavericks order, Ramsey Simpson. First pitch to Simpson, breaking ball. Bounces the dirt, kicks away from the catcher, so it'll be 1 0. Next pitch, fastball, misses high and outside. Looks like the wind has picked up again. Blowing the flags pretty hard towards the left field side out there in right center. 2 0 pitch. Fastball called strike in the outside corner. Two one pitch swung on, fouled, back out of play. Next pitch, kind of backdoor breaking ball, catches the outside corner, called strike three. So Mulcaney comes in, strikes out the first two batters he faces. And the Mavs are down to their last out. And they will be upon second baseman Jack Goins to try to keep the, keep the game alive here for the Mavs. First pitch swung on and missed for strike one. Next pitch misses high outside for a ball. Next pitch swung on, fouled out of play. Another pitch swung on, fouled out of play. Bounces in the bleachers here. So one, two, the count to Goins. Mass down there, the last strike. One, two pitch, swung on a miss, strike three. Ball gets away, but they're going to be thrown down in time, and that will end the game. So reliever Mulcahy, Mulcahy comes in, strikes out the side, ends the game by a score of 20 to 2 on the grounds of the run rule. So Mavs kept it close until it just kind of got out of hand towards the fifth and sixth inning there. So Mavs dropped the first one here. Thanks, everyone, for joining us tonight. Join us again as the Mavs take on the Vipers again on their home turf this Friday, April 1st at 7.30 p.m. Talk to you all then. Until then, have a good evening.